So today we are going to talk about less wobbles on the electric unicycles and also how to increase the comfort that you have when you are riding because if you are feeling more comfortable you'll be able to control more your PEV, in this case your electric unicycle. And also we are going to talk about my favorite boots and why I think that harder boots will give you more control and less wobbles. If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about comfort and also control how to reduce the amount of wobbles that you have on the electric unicycle. I have here the Emotion V12 High Torque that I'm trying to repair, <laughs> uh, but that will be for another video. And uh, we are going to talk about this issue, wobbles, how to take them out of the way, and also how to have more comfort. And for that, obviously we are going to talk about a product that also I have a review on the channel, and that is the footprint insoles that you have links in the description below to get them cheaper but they are simply amazing and if you want to know a little bit more about that product definitely check that full review but to understand a bit more the wobbles it's important that we understand a bit more about the feet when you are riding you can put your feet a little bit more straight you can open a bit like this so you have the the front part of your feet a little bit closer to your electric unicycle and your heel going a little bit outside on your pedals or you can do the opposite way. It's important to understand that when you have this position you are basically giving more stability to your heels. So if the heel is on the outside it's going to make your feet a little bit harder if it makes sense. So if your heels are on the inside this part of your feet is more flexible. Okay so if you are riding, you should put your heels a little bit outside and it will give you more control. Another thing that I see a lot of you guys is using normal shoes. Obviously, you feel more free, but it's not going to help you out with wobbles. So, majority of the wobbles that you get is also responsible for the shoes that you use. And obviously, I can use these ones or I can use a boot. And many of you guys will say that Hard boots will not be the best to ride electric unicycles, but I have to completely disagree. First of all, if you are using this type of shoes, you will have the ankles outside of your shoes, or even if you have a taller boot, but it's not a motorbike boots and hard ones, you will continue to have a foot that is very, very flexible. When you go to something like this, that is no movement. And remember that all your acceleration and braking is related with your feet. So you are controlling your electric unicycle through your feet. Having a harder boot will give you more control. Having the heels on the outside will make that all the structure, all the, the muscles and everything on your feet, they will be more locked in place. Sometimes I'm always shifting like this, so just to let them be a little bit more free because it's already painful for me and after I, I come back to this position and also when you are doing that and for example we, we hear a lot of if you break really hard with an electric unicycle you can have a, a cutoff but the way that I basically uh, ride is obviously with my heels out and in this case it's like this and when I want to break I just kick to the side okay so in that way I'm not putting all my weight on the back and forcing the wheel to break hard I'm kicking to the side and not putting so much pressure on the motor so that is also another thing that can in increase or decrease the possibility to have a cutoff if you are on an electric unicycle but talking about these boots and uh, talking about other boots so I used to use some Alpine Stars they are harder than obviously using normal shoes but they was not giving me this reinsurance that when you are using for example these Forma boots and we'll talk about the two types of Forma that you have on the market I know them quite well because my friend have the older version so they are cheaper than this one and I'll tell you the difference between the two but this you have this locking thing so the boots will never open so here we have my old boots the Alpine Stars and as you can see it's just velcro so sometimes when I was pushing this it was opening I was not feeling as safe and I have to say that when I jump here I didn't like it these boots why because obviously these boots are more flexible okay so I can move around my feet but after when I start riding more and more with the former boots I start feeling that 
the wobbles, they were gone, <laughs> for real, they were gone. It was impossible for me to get a wobble, or almost impossible to, for me to get a wobble, because the structure is much, much stronger. It's almost like you say to me that you, when you go to ski, you like to go and feel your feet completely free. It doesn't make sense, because when you are skiing, all the grip, everything that you do with the skis are related with your feet, so that's why you have to have those hard boots. And when we talk about hard boots, you have the new Forma, so this is the Forma Terra, the new generation, and I'll leave in the link in the description below. I don't have any discounts for you guys, nothing like that, so obviously if you use the, the link, I'll get some commissions from Amazon, but they are hard to find in black, they are in black and brown, these ones, but this is like an improved version of the old ones. One of the things also when you are using some boots, or any shoes is also the amount of grip and you can see obviously this is quite used but you can see that these have much more grip and is like a normal boot so this will increase also the grip that I have and the control that I have over my electric unicycle so advantage like I said more grip on the bottom and this is completely impossible to open when you have these boots they are harder compared to something that is softer, it will be more comfortable. You have less pressure on the front when you are accelerating because all this, when you start to push, you are already putting pressure here. You have to do less effort to accelerate. And when you try to brake, because for example, in this case, if I put side by side, they are taller, it's going to be easier to brake. So when I got these boots, I was testing out the Bigot Hero. So when I jump from these boots to this ones, I felt the difference. I felt that I have much more control on the Big God Hero with these former boots than with these ones. And another thing that is really important for you to think, not just about the wobbles and just about the comfort, is also about where us, electric unicycle riders, we normally get injured. And that injured is normally on your ankle and shoulders. That is the biggest injuries that I've seen. And obviously your head, for that you should be riding with a helmet. These boots, when I was riding the King Song S22, I didn't want to use these ones. I thought I'm going to ride for a long period of time and I want something that is going to be more flexible, so it's going to give you more comfort. And uh, my friend was saying, no, you should take these boots because the terrain is not good. So he insists so much, so I take them. And I'm really thankful for, for him insisting so much because I got a massive hole and the, I, I lost the control of the electric unicycle. It went in. When I put my feet, it, it, it wanted to basically, my feet wanted to do this, yeah? But it couldn't because this boot is all very, very hard here. So it saved my ankle. So I will never come back once again to something like this. And definitely I will never go to something like this. So obviously it's your body, it's your decisions, but having boots, they are harder, you will get more control. Having more comfort, you will be more in control of your electric unicycle. So also I would definitely recommend you to buy this if you have this comfort when you are riding. And like I said, in my full review, I use uh, custom insoles. They, are, they cost double the price, but this gives you extra comfort because you can absorb up to 90% of your impact. So if you don't have seen that review, definitely check it out. I recommend you to buy some Forma. What is the big difference between this Forma and the old version? First of all, is price. So this one, they cost around 100 pounds more than the old version. So if price is really important for you, buy the old version. But the old version is going to give you something that maybe is important for you, but you lose something that this one is important for me. So like I said, these boots are really hard. If you go to the old version, it's much easier to just bend this part, okay? So I saw some reviews saying that it was harder than this one is it's a lie <laughs> it's not true so in here you are going to have a harder boot if you go to the old version is is softer and is more comfortable at least if you want something that is easier to walk around and stuff you can walk around with this one no problem at all but it's it's um, a more robotic sensation if you want okay so it's not some, nothing something like this that you feel free and is exactly the movement of your feet i love these boots they are very very durable they will last you for a long period of time the same that happens with the alpine stance it was not bad but it was not giving me the grip on the bottom that i wanted it was opening quite often this reduced the stress that i had on my heels 
not just with the insoles, but also because the, the boot is hard, so it's going to, for example, braking, increase the brake before I put all the pressure on the heel, if it makes sense. So many of you guys wanted me to, to tell you my thoughts about this and um, how to basically remove the wobbles when you ride electric unicycles. It's not just technique. Obviously, if you are an experienced rider, you are going to have less wobbles than someone that is just starting up. But if you have the right gear, it's going to help you out also to take that out. When you'll start using these boots, you will not like it because you are used to have a free sensation, a free liberty when you are using your normal shoes or even some boots like this, they are more flexible. But when you will get used to these boots, you feel very uncomfortable coming back to something like this. That's my experience. So yeah, this was my full review of how to remove wobbles and increase comfort. And obviously also braking better, accelerating better, just changing the boots that you are using. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.